Hello there and welcome to Investment Trains, brought to you courtesy of Zambia Development Agency and of course ZNBC. Now, the importance of micro, small and medium enterprises cannot be overemphasized, especially now that government is preaching economic diversification. In this vein, government has placed high premium on the growth of MSMEs as they play an integral part in economic growth by delivering and driving innovation, competition, and employment creation among many economic sectors. It is against this background that Zambia Development Agency has prioritized the development of MSMEs for wealth creation and job creation. Well, this time around, we have in the studio the courtesy of hosting a Mrs. Mary Muhango, the proprietor of Naschilo Supplier, as she tells more about her business. Madam, it's good to have you in the studio. Good afternoon, Ezron. Great. We, we, we've invited you here to just tell us about Naschilo Supplier, which is your company. And of course, you can take us uh, what your company uh, name means and of course how you came up with your company and of course you can also add further your relationship with ZDA. Wow, uh, it's wonderful to have this platform at this particular time. We're at uh, in 2022. It has been long overdue that we have been interviewed before and uh, this is coming in in the new dawn which we appreciate for very much. Naschilo Enterprises or Naschilo Company is coming from the two names, which are, are basically from the, um, ourselves, my friend and myself. Yeah, Naboa and also Naschilima. Mm -hmm. So for that, we had to combine the two names so that we come up with a company which is called Naschilo. And Naschilo is, is, is working widely with the different uh, farmers. We are, our products that we do, we are mainly in aggregation and processing. So this aggregation, we have the products of legumes and grains, which we aggregate from farmers. And also we do processing of cooking oil and nutritional porridges. Yes. Uh, what motivated you to get into this uh, kind of business? Uh, we sat with my friend and we looked at what is it that we can solve as part of uh, the Zambian women. So we looked at the gap in the nutrition. Any company to come up, it has to solve a problem. It shouldn't just be about making profit, mm -hmm. but to solve a problem for the society. So we came up with Naschilo because we looked at the nutritional part of it. And uh, we looked at also the, the demand in the cooking oil sector. Because everyone and every, each household is using cooking oil. So we thought at least we can be part of those companies in the processing industry. So we came up with these so that we can combat the nutrition part of it that is lacking in our society. Sounds really interesting. Uh, before we talk about uh, job creation, uh, I would like just to get uh, an understanding. Uh, when you talk about oil processing, is it uh, uh, soya processing into oil or groundnuts into oil, sunflower? W what, what really are you uh, targeting? What's your specific? In our small way of processing, we have started with uh, sunflower. And going further, since we are in the aggregation, we always have the grains with us. So we have plenty to use even the soya beans itself. So going forward, we are going into so, uh, soya bean processing and groundnuts processing beautiful. of so cooking oil. Yes, beautiful. Th th there's uh, s seemingly a, a quite a demand on oil products. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the fact that you saw the gap and, you know, being an entrepreneur, you, you, the two of you uh, came up with that company. Uh, before you talk to us about challenges and how you have uh, uh, helped in terms of building employment, giving employment to the young people, I, I want to look at uh, how are the numbers like in terms of quantity that you are distributing on the market? In our small way, we have started with um, 
uh, we are producing about 500 liters at least every day on which we have been setting in our communities. Yeah, we are setting in Chongwe and also 10 miles. So we are very sure that at least we are going to beat the market. 500 is not, is it, not a minimal number. <laughs> <laughs> 500 <laughs> liters is, is something good to, to record, actually. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. exciting for me. I'm happy. I'm yes. happy. I'm, I'm loving that. Yes. Let's look at the numbers. Uh, how many people have you engaged in terms of employment, the young people? We have a number of young people. There are, we have about eight young, uh, young girls who are coming in to help every time that we have the commodities ready to process. And then we have got the permanent workers who are about six of them. And these, uh, the jobs that we have created, we have also the, the old ladies who are helping us to select to the quality of what is needed to be put in the machine before the processing mm -hmm. is, is done. So meaning, on our permanent workers, we have about 14 workers. That's what I would say. And then in the indirect or the seasonal workers, there are many because we are in aggregation. Mm -hmm. You can imagine if I'm aggregating about 500, 500 tons of anything that I want to aggregate. There's a sunflower itself. I would need a number of seasonal workers to come through. So these seasonal workers come at the time of aggregation and also at the time of farming. So we are offering a good service to our communities because we don't want to leave anyone behind. And we are also encouraging even the disabled, those who are very, you know, and who are willing to work, we are calling upon them so that they can, they can join. They shouldn't look at too much money, mm -hmm. but at least to start from somewhere and they will learn a skill. One day they will have their own entrepreneurs, their own companies to run, yeah. Well, beautiful. I, I love that too. Now, let, let's look at uh, where you are supplying this product. Okay. Yeah, you, you did mention uh, earlier that you, you, you are meeting the, the community's demand for oil. Yes. I, I should understand also here that could be that your price is flexible to, in order for the, for the community out there to respond positively. But how, has people, how have people received your product? We, so far, we haven't received any negativity. We haven't received anybody complaining about it. Uh, all they do is they encourage us to say, OK, maybe on the quality or try to find a way of removing the smell. You know, sunflowers got that mm -hmm. a bit of that scent. So we are trying to, to reach to that level where we can make sure that we are producing the quality of cooking all that is on the demand. So if, ap apart from that, people are consuming? Yes. People are consuming because the same cooking oil you find it even at Soweto market sometimes because we are looking forward whereby we have quality cooking oil that we can even export. So exactly. once we reach to that that level, then we are good to go. Well, it's it's an obvious case that growth is inevitable when you are talking 500 liters. Uh, any room for you now to start supplying in the malls? And of course, uh, at the later stage, probably export. Exactly. That is our, 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 that's why we are even working hard. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward for that. We feel before the end of this year or by, by the beginning of next year, we should be able to export also even to Congo or to any other country that has. And we, we, we are just not looking at the export part of it. Because first, we need to finish to help the demand of our country so that we are able to supply in our chain stores. We also supply even the, um, the supermarkets, even the local markets, because there is a lot of demand. If you go there, you find people are scrounging sometimes to find the, the cooking oil that they need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we need, we are trying to fight out the system of using these other cooking oils, which I've just gotten maybe from the, uh, here they get from the other machines mm -hmm. and mix it with the actual cooking oil so that they make more cooking oil. So if, if, if we are able, we, 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 are, we, we are able to produce more, then we are going to add to those other companies who are producing on the market because the demand is high.
Well, that's beautiful to hear. Uh, I, I earlier asked about you uh, venturing into supplying the malls and, uh, of course, uh, later on uh, uh, looking at exports. But are you looking at working with bigger uh, markets such as China stores and, uh, and of course, the export that I mentioned? Yes, I've already mentioned to you. Those are the chain stores. When we talk about bigger markets, we are talking about the chain, chain stores. stores yes. yes, because chain stores, they need a lot of commodities for them to, you know, to, to be able to sell. They will not accept you to take few, few, few bottles of cooking oil, but they will need numbers. And then the, on our aggregation part, we are also working with the World Food Program, mm -hmm. because this is where we have been supplying most of the legumes. Let's say about cowpeas, beans, and also we supply these other off-takers who are on the market. Mm -hmm. Because we are not just women, we also work like men. Mm -hmm. When we mean to do business in the field, we make sure that we work to the effective and the, uh, the quality of their demand. Beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful. Now, let's, let's look at your relationship with the ZDF. Very important. How did you come to learn of ZDF? We learned about ZDA with my friend, through friends, of course. They were, you know, they have, ZDA has been there even before. So we could go to the meetings, some meetings, people would talk about ZDA, can you join, the ZDA does this. Then we thought one day that let's go there and see what they do. And we thought, we really appreciated what they offered to us because we didn't know anything, particularly mm -hmm. on that time when we started going to ZDA. It was very helpful. It's a very good agency for all of us. How long has it been since, and what kind of opportunities have you, have you uh, benefited since working with us a year? Well, we have benefited a lot. Uh, linkages, market linkages, financial linkages, information uh, flow, you know, uh, trainings in the different categories. If I talk about trainings, I've been trained in food safety, Mm -hmm. food safety and then um, we also were trained in the branding and packaging mm -hmm. yeah uh, through a women organization called Sava Web. so with that the more you network the more you get more information mm -hmm. for you to grow yes beautiful well I, 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 I want to give you an opportunity now there could be someone out there that is watching and they're thinking she, she, you make it sound so easy. But now, let's talk about the challenges. What did it take for you and your friend to just come up with these? Uh, there, there are a lot of challenges that, that are seemingly uh, opposing, uh, uh, you know, a withdrawal for most entrepreneurs to, to embark on such projects. How was it for you? Even, uh, you know, it, I know it is not easy for anyone to start business from anywhere. But uh, if you have mentors like ZDA, I think you can make it. People fear knowledge or they fear to knock at these doors, government doors. Mm -hmm. These doors are very open to everybody. Um, it's very easy once you start interacting with different people and uh, you understand that you can, you can do it. Of course. We once felt uh, very low to say we are not going to do it because we had nothing to begin with. Mm -hmm. But when we saw that, especially World Food Program, they really encouraged us to say, you can make it. Mm. And when we started, I think we were the, the few entrepreneurs who were there. We were meeting with these other off-takers, of course, the, the big guys in the, on the market in Zambia. We used to meet with them in those meetings. Mm -hmm. They kept encouraging us. They are very good. They are not bad, you know, if I can mention. Um, we had the CHC, the George, in those meetings. We had ETG people in those meetings. Mm. And even other big guys, Amazon, they were there in those meetings. But uh, they used to encourage us to say, you people, for us to grow, we didn't begin from a lot of uh, or mountains of millions of money. Mm. We had to start small for us to grow. So everyone else who wants to grow, you have to start small. Mm. Humble beginning is very important. And the humble beginning, you need to be focused and get information from ZDA. And the many other challenge that you would, you would get maybe from ZDA, if, uh, if, if time can allow, um, ZDA has got also some hiccups or challenges that we get. 
there's um, certain trips that are organized by them. They are quite expensive. Where an SME, if I want to travel, like go to take, let's say there's a meeting in Turkey, I have to pay for myself. Now, how will I learn? Because I don't have that money. I haven't reached that threshold of booking a room for myself. Mm -hmm. I haven't reached at that level of buying an air ticket for myself. Uh, that, those are the things we need them to, to be able to organize. Then secondly, um, there are also challenges in the, in the way SMEs to obtain maybe funds. Mm -hmm. You know, there are certain grants. Most of the SMEs don't know how to write proposals or business plans. Mm -hmm. Despite they can teach us, but we cannot contain everything. You know, SMEs, we are busy people. We are busy hustling every day, mm -hmm. thinking about how will I make money? How will I do this? How will I handle that? So mm -hmm. that means the, that barrier, which is there within ourselves, the confusion that we have, it needs to, to be buried somewhere. Someone should engulf that, which is ZDA. That's what we are looking for. It is when there is a call, they say there is a funding. There should be a department within ZDA that is going to look at what is it that I'm able to do with this funding which is there so that we don't miss it. Whether it is the, I'm going to get a 10,000 out of it, it is fine. It will make a difference in my company. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well spoken there. But let's look at your strategy and. Uh, what, what are some of the uh, incentives that you'd like to appeal government, you know, uh, to, 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 to help you with? And of course, uh, addition, uh, ZDA also to, to embark on. I like the fact that you have uh, widely elaborated on the fact that there are some of these little challenges that, you know, entrepreneurs like yourself are failing to meet up because of, uh, you know, uh, situations that are prevailing right now. But what are some of the incentives that you would like to lobby? government just in case uh, you the, the minister of uh, small and medium enterprise is watching our minister and our government we are your people as smes we are the the, the ones who who grow the economy anywhere you go even in rwanda we have had it it has made the country to be where it is it's because of the smes and as smes all what we need is a market linkage and we need proper market linkage, whereby it is all organized very well. And we are in different categories, as you have already put, to say small and medium enterprises. Yes, they could be small, but they are not small in the sense that they can handle even the things that even other companies, big companies are handling right now. All we want is a proper linkage by ZDA. When they go to make, to organize meetings, like if they go to Congo, this there be a very um, effective uh, organized uh, meetings that we are going to be able to make, come out with, because we want to grow. SMEs don't want to remain the same, selling rape or selling what. We want to be selling even the way big companies are doing. If it's to, to, to be able to take over these chain stores, we can also take over as Zambians. We are able to, because we are growing from that a mediocre type of kind of living we used to, but we are in a modern uh, world. We are in a modern times now. So we are calling upon the government to listen mostly to the SMEs, not the, uh, the big guys. The big guys are taking money out of this country. As SMEs, we are going to leave our money within this country and it will, we, it will move within our circles. I will give Ezra a business and he will come back to me. The money will still come back to me. And it will go to another friend, just like that. That is what we want. Empower us with the things that we are able to do. We have people who are qualified, who are qualified, who are SMEs. Because you cannot employ as government. You cannot employ everybody. SMEs will employ a lot of people. If I put maybe my, if I'm not wrong with my statistics, about 90% are employed in the informal and informal, sec informal, and informal sector. Correct, correct. No, yeah. that's, uh, I've, I've, I've heard you, and that's the reason why you are here, because government has created an agency through ZDA to, to allow you to communicate, and, and moreover, the new Dawn government has implemented what you've been calling out for just now, the creation of a ministry that is dedicated to listen to your cry. The opportunity now is for all of us to embark on one thing, that is 
innovation. I love the fact that you have done exactly what, what, what you are saying. You've gone out there and you are meeting the, the gap. You know, you are supplying to the demand that has been posed by the oil challenge. I, I would like to sincerely thank you for, for making time to be on the program. And I know that the viewers out there have heard and uh, the, the powers that be have paid attention to what you have said, what you have called out for, and I know that it's going to be done. So we wish you well, and we hope that one day when I go in that chain store, I should be able to buy your cooking oil. What is it called again? It is called Nascello. Nascello. Yes. Beautiful. So we want to buy Zambian so that we can grow the Zambian economy together. Well, this has been uh, Investment Trains brought to you courtesy of Zambia Development Agency and ZNBC. I've been your host, Hezron Ngosu. See you and God bless you.